Question 8. Regular and irregular polygons. Let's study. What is a regular polygon? So in a regular polygon, all the sides have the same length. So the sides are the same length. And all of the corners, another word for corners is angles, but you'll learn more about that in grade 5. So all of the corners are equal in size. For example, this is a regular pentagon. It has five sides and all of the sides are equal in length. Because all of the sides are equal in length, all of these corners are also the same size. If we look at this shape, now remember, we name our polygons according to their number of sides. So let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. We know that a shape with five straight sides is called a pentagon. However, this shape, you can see it looks a little bit funny. This shape, all of these sides are not the same length. Also, all of these angles are not the same size. Therefore, this is a pentagon, but it is an irregular pentagon. This is what our regular pentagon looks like, and this is an example of an irregular pentagon. Both of these are pentagons because they have five sides. Question 2. Name each part of the polygons below and then we must write down which polygons are irregular. For A, 1, 2, 3 sides. If you look, you can measure to check. These three sides are equal in, in length and these three angles are also the same size. This is a triangle, and it is a regular triangle. If we look at B, let's count the sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Its shape with 6 straight sides is a hexagon. But you can see that this hexagon looks a little bit funny. It doesn't look like our normal hexagon, because the sides are not the same length. They're just a little bit different. And most importantly, like you can see, these angles are not the same size. So this here is an irregular hexagon. I'm going to put an I there for irregular. So we're going to start saying here, which of the polygons are irregular? B is irregular, so I'm going to write B there. If we look at C, we're going to count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. This is a pentagon. And this is our regular pentagon. It has five straight sides and all of these sides are equal and also all of the angles are the same. So this one is regular. For D, this is a funny looking shape. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. Four sides means that it's a quadrilateral. Quadri, let me write the rest underneath there lateral. This one here is definitely irregular. The sides are different lengths and the angles are also different sizes. Therefore, D is also irregular. It goes up here. For E over here, we're going to count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or you can just mark them. One, two, three, four, five, six. A, side, a shape with six sides is called a hexagon, but this one it's, it looks like a funny shape because the sides are not equal in length and neither are the angles. Therefore, this is our irregular hexagon, and we're going to write E up here. You can also write the word out completely. It's an irregular hexagon. Lastly, let's look at these two at the bottom. This over here, we see it's got four straight sides, but this is a special quadrilateral. It is our square. Now a square, all four sides are equal in length, and all of the angles are also square, square corners. So this one here is regular. L, however, this is a rectangle. Now a rectangle, this is important, a rectangle has two lengths that are equal 
and two widths that are equal, but all of the sides are not equal in length. Therefore, a rectangle is also irregular. So, it's been labeled L, so you'll add it up here to your list of irregular shapes. Now that I've done a lot of these with you, it is now your turn to complete question two by yourself in your workbook. Let's look at question three. This shape is called, we have our options over here, A, B, C, and D. Now before we even look at them, let's first just look at the shape. We can see that the shape looks a little bit different. All the sides are not equal in length and the, and the corners are also not the same size. So we can immediately say that this is an irregular polygon. But which one is it? Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five means pent. Therefore, it is an irregular pentagon. So it is D. For question four, name two properties that make a polygon regular. Now this is important, remember we've learned it. Number one, all the sides are the same length, or the sides have equal lengths. You can write that out nice and neatly in a full sentence. And number two, all of the corners, or you can say angles, that's the same meaning, all of the corners are the same size. So, regular polygons, the sides are all equal and all the corners are the same size. Press pause to complete three and four by yourself on your worksheet. Question five, draw your own irregular pentagon and irregular a hexagon. Now remember, irregular means that the sides all the sides are not equal and also that will mean that the corners are also not the same size. You can you don't need to write that down, that's just to remind you. So we need to draw an irregular pentagon. Pent means five. So a pentagon has got five straight sides. We must draw an irregular one. So there's lots of different pentagons that you can have. I'm going to draw a pentagon that looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. That is an example of one irregular pentagon. You can draw yours a little, little bit neater. If you wanted to do a different one, let's look. An irregular pentagon can also look like this. One, two, three, four, five. That is also an irregular pentagon. Just make sure that it, that it is closed. So you can have lots of different options for an irregular pentagon. If we look at a hexagon, a hexagon has got six sides and we must draw an irregular one. So let's draw one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one example of an irregular hexagon. Another example you could do like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's also an irregular hexagon because it has one, two, three, four, five, six straight sides. The shape is closed, but it looks funny because all the sides are not the same length. It's now your turn to draw your own.